Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an online memory game. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. We're going to use Flippity.net's Flippity Matching Game Template. And there's two versions of it that you can use when you click on the instructions. You'll see those loaded for you. And there's a quick and easy method. And the quick and easy method, you just take a list of terms. And you can see I have a little list of terms here that I've already created. And you paste those in. And select memory. And generate the game. And we'll see now. There's our terms appearing on the screen. And we can turn on numbers for the cards that are in our memory game. And we can turn on a timer for our game as well. So that's the simple option. And that might be all that you need. Or you might want to include pictures in your memory game, in which case, you're going to want to go down to option number two, which is to use a Google Sheets template. And I'm going to open that in a new tab. And we're going to make a copy of the Google Sheets template for making a flippity matching game. Now, you can see the placeholder content here is colors and some images to go along with those colors. But in this case, I want to swap it out with animals. And so I'm going to have a bobcat. And I have found a bobcat picture on Wikipedia. Now I should point out that this particular image is a Creative Commons licensed image. So if you are going to use it like I'm going to use it, we do need to give attribution to Paul and Kathy Becker, who originally published and shared the video on Flickr with a Creative Commons license. So thank you to them for doing that. Then right click on the image, copy the image address. It's very important we're gonna copy the image address, not the URL of where the image is found, not the page that the image is found on, but the actual image address. Then put that in the spreadsheet. And now we'll go to file and we will go to the share menu to publish the spreadsheet to the web. And then we go down here to get the link and we'll have a new link to our flippity memory game. And right now we're going to have to go through to find where that Bobcat appears randomly. There it is, there's our bobcat picture. Now, if I wanted to do pictures for all the other animals in my list, I would just go online and find more images that are either Creative Commons licensed or in the public domain to use in my game. So that's how you can create an online memory game using one of Flippity's templates. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.